Hello, 2023. First time I've ever been on this river. It's the Savinia. And I was just talking to a couple of guys there to check them in the right part from a pervert. I wouldn't want to be fishing the wrong part, but looks like everything's okay. River looks a bit high, slightly coloured. Well, not that high, but fishable. You'll see in a minute when you see the river. I plan to do a very nice introduction 2023, but as usual, run about try to find access points to the river, all sorts of things. So I just decided to, you know, wing it a little bit. Just get to the river and fish Robert. It's uh, nine degrees, sunny, a little bit windy, a few gusts coming through. I've got a single nymph on, sort of medium weight, maybe a 3.3 bead on it. Uh, no idea. Let's just chuck it out there and see if a fish takes it. It's stupid enough, eh? But I like the look of this river. I always pass by this valley when I'm on the main road going to other parts of Slovenia. I was doing my research during the winter and said, well, it gets a really good reputation, a good name further up, this trophy parts and all that, but they don't open to April. This is March. This is a lower section. But it still looks very nice, eh? Now, of course, you always think Slo Slovenian rivers look shallow. <laughs> Who knows? Uh... I might try and fish up in the neck of the pool just now. I think the fish will be lying there. Later on in the year, they'll scatter all over the pool. But I could be wrong. Uh, I didn't want to wade much today, but I need to go out to that uh, gravel bar there to go on the main current. I'm not going to Euronymph. Some other pools are about Euronymph. This one I'll just traditional swing a nymph round. Nymph. Little uh, orange butt, grey body. Cool this. Three hours later, had a drive about, looked at different rivers, uh, looked at different places, and then thought for the last hour or two, I liked this pool. Didn't see any fish, but I liked it. It looked so fishy. So I've come back with a heavier rod. I can cast with that wind and you might notice when you see it splashing a heavier nymph which I'm helping with this bit because it's fairly shallow in at the edge here so. well I'm not boasting but that's a fish <laughs> it's a small one it's a fish the nymph there coming down it's a little rainbow, little bugger. I thought it was going to be a nice brownie. Obviously it's a tiny little wild stocky, who knows. Thrown in at a very early age. It's absolutely fully thinned, it looks perfect. There we go. So that was on the... Here's your jig head. Uh, with a peach tail. I'm happy with it. I was getting out under these trees here. I hadn't really fished there earlier, so I think. Slightly bigger, I think. <laughs> Still small. Yeah, I'm sitting under those trees. So I made a mistake of not fishing there earlier. Yeah, it's bigger than the last one. Oh, 
Yeah. Where's your daddy? Who's the daddy? Where's your daddy? Okay, put an infant and indicator on. Two casts later, small fish. Very small nymph. Small. There might be other fish around. But very small rainbow. Literally two casts. They weren't interested in the dry fly. Still not correct for them. Okay, took a slightly better fish. Took the little nymph. Yeah, that's a nice little rainbow. better fish around. Just hooked, just in the lip and no more. Beautiful fish. Is it? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, calm down. Want to get the hook out first. <laughs> still got it in. A little barbless, but it's still, still hooked. Ah, there you go. Okay. This little silver top rainbow. Can. Oh, wow. Full of energy. Okay. Okay, okay. I declare that one is an okay fish. <laughs> okay, I've been fished up river for ages. Stop. Everything stopped happening. I've came here to this bit. Looks like small fish, but I can see them rising. I don't know if you can see them out there. There's one's even further upstream. Could be the odd big one amongst them. Don't look a gift toss. No, never regret. Could run back to the car, but now I regret not having my dry fly rods set up. I've only got an infrared here, so. But you know, should be able to long cast over to them. That's an advantage. There it is, it's a grayling. I just, oh, that was a bigger fish. I hooked that one. That's small. But the one I hooked was bigger. Could feel the weight behind it. Oh, what are they? Grayling? Am I, am I right? I'm right. It's the speed of them is just so fast. Little grayling, it's small, tiny. It's not even worth reporting, really. It's, oh, yeah, there's a bigger fish behind me. That bigger fish was just over that rock. But he's not come back up. I've moved up to see. Oh, something that came up. I used to fly. It didn't take. Oh. Don't you see that? Big fish just took that fly. It's not interested me. I think mine is much more attractive.
They seem to be smarter. Oh, there we go. Yeah, bigger fish. Oh, it's a bit grayling. A beautiful grayling. Yeah, it's a bigger fish. Yep, beautiful grayling. Okay, folks, time for the release. Phone safe, Lowy. Fish out of the net. Quick, oh, I was about to say quick photo. <laughs> quick, uh, show you, but forget it. <laughs> it was so lively, jumped right out my hands. I didn't want to hold him tight. At last, at last, we took a cheeky grayling. 